you guys ready to do some science? Before the video begins, I thought I should probably communicate a bit more clearly. Uh, I filmed this in September of 2019 and only got around to editing it in September of 2020. I got the Discovery Extreme Chemistry Lab. I, I was at Walmart, I was looking for some for a video, and I gotta be honest, this completely caught my eye. We can, we're gonna conduct over 20 different experiments today. It says it right there on the box, you can see the list. Let's crack this open and uh, see what awaits inside, and we're gonna learn some stuff along the way. Before we can start, we gotta make sure we're prepared. We take things seriously. Uh, I got my exam gloves. Gonna be so I dropped that exam glove. Gonna have to be sterile, so we're gonna take another one from our box. We're gonna be working with some dangerous chemicals today. This is an educational video. We're gonna be learning some stuff, and rule number one, safety is always a priority. Uh, make sure you get your... Uh, face mask. that the chemicals don't kill you. Now we're really going to be able to get started today. So I'm going to adjust the camera and get set up. Transition. Okay, so take a look at this. Look at this. I mean, I don't know what this means. Like lit litmus powder, sodium alginate to make you feel sodium algebraic. Let's see if we can open this while keeping the gloves on. Oh boy. Out of the box, first things first. Uh, we got this poster. Oh wow, I can't wait to hang this up in my room. It's just a bunch of fun facts on it. Like, uh, hydrogen is the first element on the periodic table. Didn't know that, now you know. It's highly flammable and is the most common element found in our universe. That means that the world is built to burn, kids. Most of the world's made up of it, so just burn it down. Oh. Oh dear, uh, a lot of things today. Let's see what we got. There's a lot of these tests that have not included in the supplies I'm seeing here. Uh. So I set everything up as you can see here in this beautiful... We don't need these stickers, I don't We got some experiments, most of them require other items, which is disappointing. Right here I like uh, foam it up. We're gonna need baking soda, tart tartaric acid, test tube, and water which is not included, but it's fine because I got water right here. So, in a clean, dry test tube, mix one spoonful of baking soda and one spoonful of tartic acid. Great. Cool. Now we need the tartic... I hope my dogs don't eat all of this once it gets on the ground. Tartic acid everywhere. Wow, guys. I'm excited to see what's gonna happen here. Very scientific. Baking soda, tartic acid mix. We got a pipette somewhere. Where'd that go? Oh, it fell on the ground. Great, wonderful. Let's see what happens when I drop some water in there. Ooh. Ah. Wow, guys. Oh, I don't know about you, but I'm pretty impressed. Oh my God. Look at that. Now, you see what's going on is what this is known as a chemical reaction. Oh. Chemical reactions mean, mean that something's happening in there. Ah. Listen to that. Just that sizzle. Chemistry. Hey guys, you're, you're witnessing chemistry right now. Absolutely breathtaking. Well, let's just set that aside right here and do some more science. Has that got your attention? I sure hope it has. We're just getting started. Now something here I'm very interested in is, uh, it says, um, make your own worms. This experiment calls for something special. We got two glass cups here. It says mix one and a half cup of warm water with glitter paint. I don't really know how much one and a half cups is, so we're just gonna... So we got about this much water, all right. With glitter paint. Those are my dogs, don't mind them. I'm trying to get this in there, but just... Oh, wait, we got almost... Oh, plop. There you go. Plop. Sodium alginate chemicals. To pour the whole bag in there, so that's what we're gonna do. 
Not sure what this is supposed to achieve. Still listening, you still got me. My attention's still, my attention's still in here, so let's mix this up, see what happens. I'm just putting my faith in this uh, science thing. If it says something's gonna happen, then uh, I'm just gonna assume something's gonna happen, you know? This looks hideous. This looks disgusting. Imagine you're at a party and someone handed you this in the, uh, and they're like, hey, on the house, take a sip. I trust them. I trust them. Why not? We need some calcium chloride now. So now we're getting the uh, calcium chloride and we're gonna put half of a uh, bag in here. Alright. Wow. Some interesting reactions here. Let's swirl this around. Swirl until dissolved. What do you think's gonna happen, guys? So we're gonna use the pipe bed. Hey, uh, turns out what I'm about to do is entirely wrong and not what the instructions said to do at all. I correct the mistake later on. We can get some, uh, of this, this, this thing. We drip some in there. This has gotten thick. Okay. Well, what a fun experiment we got here. Uh, it's like a booger consistency. I think I did something wrong. You seen some worms here, fellas? I'm not. Was I supposed to drop it into the other one? I think I was. Now I'm just creating snot. Ooh, cool. Sick. Okay, we're. That's something, right? That was the right thing to do. There we go, now I'm seeing some worm action. That's magic right there. Do you feel like a real scientist yet? Because I sure do. Wow. Look at that, fellas. We made some blue worms. I am proud of myself. Are you proud? You proud that you watched this? You better be. This is a warning not to put this stuff down the sink, but you know that a bunch of people, a bunch of American families probably are going to anyway. You can't tell people to put stuff in cups and then expect them not to put it down into the sink. Wow. Some science going on right here. I'm gonna be honest, most of these experiments are kind of uh, a scam. Um, most of them require a lot more outside ingredients than I was anticipating, and a lot of them require you to do a bunch of really boring and uh, ineffective tests before uh, actually getting to the good stuff. So what I'm going to see what happens is if we just mix all of these ingredients together. Baking soda. One spoonful. What's litmus powder? I don't know. There's not a lot in this one, so uh, maybe it's a dangerous one. That'd be cool. Oh, it smells terrible. This is the, one of the worst smelling chemicals I've ever uh, used. Let's just pour the whole bag in there. Alright. There evenly distributed calcium chloride. It's just pebbled. And unfortunately, we used all the uh, sodium alginate, but we got some tar -ar -tar -ar arctic acid. Sounds like a uh, limited edition Mountain Dew flavor, arctic acid. You guys know what I'm talking about. We got one spoonful of that. I feel like a real scientist now. I'm going into unexplored territory here, fellas. Oh, great. Got all that in there. Now we've mixed up all the available, all the available ingredients. Now we're gonna mix this stuff up. What happens when we put some water in it and activate the chemical reaction? What do you think is gonna happen? Explode? Well, let's find out. Unfortunately, I've ruined the pipette with this horrid experiment. Some water. And away we go. Oh. It's turning pink. Oh, oh. very unexpected reaction. Oh, this is a very unexpected reaction. Yeah, it's a chemical. So let's give it a little... A little shake. Oh! Oh! So that spurted all over my ga camera equipment. That's great. Wonderful. Wonderful reaction here. Very, um... Interesting. Well, I feel like a scientist. Do you feel like you've accomplished stuff today? Because I sure do. That was a video. Oh, no. Every now and then you gotta ask yourself if video is worth it. Do I think this video is worth it? No. No, I do not. But stay curious. Stay thinking. This is Jack3636, official 
scientist signing off. If I see any comments about my bowl cut, you're getting banned. Hello everyone, Jaxu636 here. Before we begin.